Hey guys, it's Stacy here. Welcome to my channel, Life's a Project, where I like to share my everyday life projects with you. And today's project is planting perennial plants in hanging baskets. So really a hanging basket is just another container. So I see it as just another way that I can plant plants in a container and enjoy those plants. So usually at the beginning of the season, I will buy annual plants that I will use to plant up my hanging baskets. I'll enjoy those plants, but as the season goes on, they start to look tired, leggy, and they're just done. I'll pull those out and just plant something new. And many times I catch myself just wanting to see one type of plant in a hanging basket. So you don't have to buy a multiple annuals to fit in each hanging basket, just like with these mums and these marigolds that I planted last fall. I just use one plant and I think it looks really beautiful. And don't be afraid to purchase perennial plants like these to go in your hanging baskets as well. You can winter them over in containers and use them next season in containers, or you can just plant them out in your landscape at the end of the season. So the first perennial plant I have here is this beautiful hookara, and I just love the foliage color, just a beautiful purple. Now it's by Proven Winners called Dolce Wildberry Hookara. And on the back here, also known as Coral Bells, its height is 10 to 14 inches, blooms early summer, hardy to zones four through nine, and it prefers the part shade, but can thrive also in the shade as well as it can tolerate sun. So just a really great perennial plant, and it's just so pretty. Again, I just love the beautiful purple. So the next perennial plant I have here is this beautiful upright sedum. So pretty, the colors of this kind of frosty blue green look to it. It's just so pretty. Now down here on the tag, you can see these blooms that come on late summer. They're this beautiful kind of red color. It's called autumn fire. So on the back here, it says light, full sun, bloom time, late summer, water it does like to dry out in between waterings not super moist soil height 12 inches hardiness zones four through nine so just a really nice plant really excited about that one so the next perennial plant i have here is another hookara or coral bells and this one is called black pearl so beautiful on the back here size eight to ten in height zones four through nine, blooms midsummer, and just like the other one, thrives in part shade, but will grow in sun or shade. And you can really find hookahs in so many different colors. They're just so pretty, and you can see on this one underneath the leaves, that beautiful purple. So I'm really excited for these three plants. I'm gonna be planting them up in hanging baskets, one in each hanging basket. So I'm really excited. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this project started. So I have three hanging baskets here. I have them filled with a container mix or a potting mix. This one is the miracle Grow potting mix. And then I have some granular fertilizer from Espoma. So all three are planted up and I think they turned out so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these around to the back and get them hung up. So I have them all loaded up here in my Groundworks cart. So much easier to get them around to the back. I have the little hangers kind of hanging on the sides. So a much easier way to get them back here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them hanging. So guys, look how beautiful this first one, this hookara is so pretty. I just love the color, I just can't get over it. You can see it is a whole lot smaller than this container. You can see a lot of soil showing. No worries, that'll fill in. I don't wanna crowd the plants. Now over here, I left my bucket out. I was working in the garden, but this sedum looks so pretty as well. In here, now I have to water everything in. The soil looks really dry right now but just so pretty in these containers by themselves. They just look so clean and neat, I think. So the next one here, the Black Pearl. Again, so pretty, a lot larger than the first Hookara. And it will fill in like this one and just look really pretty. And again, just clean and neat, and I love it. 
So this hanging basket was one of the three that I planted up early spring. Now it was still looking pretty good, so I decided to keep this one out of the three. Now you can see the super bells as well as the quarter lines still look pretty good. A good combination, I think, looks really fun. Now the super bells started to look dry and leggy across the bottom, so I did give it a little bit of haircut. You can probably tell that. So I'm hoping to enjoy it a little bit longer. So guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions or comments, leave those down in the comment section below. And I hope you will subscribe to my channel here on YouTube, Life's a Project, so you don't miss out on any future projects or updates to projects like this one. And I hope you will follow me on Instagram as well as Pinterest. So guys, I thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a blessed day. See you in the next one. Bye.